Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the mini series on how to prepare your catches. In today's episode we're going to be covering the brown crab. The first step is to cook the crab in a pot of boiling water for around 10-15 to 15 minutes. Depending on the size of the crab, the bigger the crab, the longer it needs to be in for. Once it's done, leave it to cool down for 20 minutes before picking the meat. Okay, so we're going to get our first crab. What we're going to start off by doing is removing the legs. like so then once you've done that you need to take off either claw as you can see all the meat on the inside okay so once you've got the legs and the claws off what you're going to do now is simply turn the crab onto its uh, onto its back as such use your thumbs and you want to push and separate the shell from the, the body of the crab and it should all come out in one piece like that. Don't chuck this part away, you're probably looking at this thinking it looks awful, there's lots of, uh, lots of meat. These parts here are the dead man's fingers, parts that you can't eat. Okay so very simply with a spoon I'm going to scoop all of the brown meat from inside of the uh, the crab. Now you're probably, <clears throat> almost definitely, if you haven't eaten crab before, looking at that, thinking it looks absolutely disgusting. But, you know, it is very nice. Even if you don't like it, definitely give it a try. And we'll come back to this bit later on uh, when, we, when we pick out the white meat. All right, so move on to the claws now. I'm gonna break the claw at the joint, it's the easiest part. And then uh, again on the other joint, I'm gonna crack off the, uh, the shell and then slowly pick away any of the broken bits of shell that you've just, you've just cracked. And then that will leave you with all of the claw meat. So in the centre of this um, bit of claw meat, there is a piece of cartilage. This part here is like the middle section of the joint. And then this is the third and final part of the claw, which is the end piece, uh, which is closest to the body. So, like I said before, with a rolling pin. Remove any unwanted bits of shell, and then that'll expose the meat with your crab pick. Get in there and get that nice chunk of meat there. Lovely. Okay, so we're moving on to the crab legs. So as you can see, there's a lot of meat here in this part of the crab leg. So what you're gonna do is snap this part off, which leaves you with this. Break the shell. Put 
and if you do it carefully you should be able to get the piece of meat out in one go and that is quite a big bit of meat for just just a leg all right we're going to move on to the last bit which is the actual body of the crab so in each and every uh, leg hole of the crab there is lots of meat available to get out as you can see there Okay, so this next part is 100% optional. I'm only doing it because I want to almost bulk out the the contents of the white meat into a bit more volume, so I can fill the um, fill the shell up a bit more. So all I'm doing here is just, I'm not mashing it up. I'm just separating the the fibres, the muscle fibres of the meat, so it makes, like I said, a bit more volume, and we've got more. more meat to put into the shell like so okay as I mentioned earlier we're going to wash out the, um, the shell of the crab which is what we're going to present it in later so make sure this is nice and clean so what I'm going to do first is put in the brown meat which I took out earlier The rest of the white meat, as you can see, there is a lot of it for this crab. So that is the crab fully dressed with the brown meat on the left and the white meat on the right with the legs dressed on top ready to be served up. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And hopefully this video has given you some sort of idea and given you a different recipe uh, to what you might already know. And if you didn't know how to prepare this fish before, then hopefully this video has given you a good understanding. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be releasing these videos throughout the season of 2021. Hopefully you can catch these fish for yourself and then be able to take them home and prepare them for your family.